Okay, so equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. You're going to see me abbreviate parallel with <coughs> parallel lines and perpendicular with an upside down T. Mostly because I don't want to spell it all out. There's a lot of letters there. But really, these are the, the abbreviations we're using in geometry. So the thing that we need to keep in mind, if we have parallel slopes, well, parallel slopes are like train tracks. Do the tracks cross? No, they don't. So parallel lines, in parallel lines, we know that the slopes are equal. Anybody remember perpendicular lines? They're opposite, and so opposite signs. Right, so it's the opposite sign, but it's also what? So opposite, and maybe you use the word opposite. So if I said one of the slopes was two-thirds, then what would be a perpendicular slope? Yes, so reciprocal. So opposite reciprocal. So if we had one slope equal to two-thirds, then the perpendicular slope would be negative three-halves. If you take the opposite, the reciprocal of it is flip it upside down. Okay. So if I had a slope equal to four, or four over one, then a perpendicular slope would be negative one-fourth. And let's do a little reminder. What are perpendicular lines? Right. They form 90-degree angles or four 90-degree angles. If you have um, intersecting lines, if you had a ray and a line, it forms two. Okay. So we are going to start with um, one of these guys. Let's start with an example. We want to write the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 5 and passes through 4, 2. This is, this is the first one on page two that you probably worked with last night. Um, now, with this, let's think about what that picture looks like. So I have negative five is my y-intercept, so somewhere down here. And it's negative three-fourths is the slope, so it's going to be decreasing because it is um, a negative. So I can either go up three and... If I went up, then I'd have to go left 4, or I could go down 3, and I need to go right 4. So my line, my original line, looks like this, roughly. Okay? Now, if they want a parallel line that's going to pass through 4, 2. Well, 4, 2 is maybe around here. So they want this parallel line that passes through it. That's the equation that we're looking for. So that's really the problem that they're asking you to do. So step one is always slope. Now, I'm going to use the find the slope, write, find the B, and then do the Y, and then write your equation. You can do point slope. I'm not going to require it. Uh, but, and for the video, I'm going to do it using my three steps. So step one is slope. Where are we getting the slope? We're going to be using this line. We need to figure out what its slope is. Once we know its slope, then we can go to write it. So we're going to use y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 5. What is the slope of that? Negative 3 fourths. So my slope is negative 3 fourths. So what's the parallel slope then? Same thing. So that's step one. Okay. Step two, y, or find B or your y-intercept. 
So we have y equals mx plus b. Well, what is our m? Negative 3 fourths. What is your x? Now this is where we need to use the other point because we want it to go through floor 2. So x is 4, y is 2. So we'd have 2 equals negative 3 fourths times 4, so 4 over 1, plus b. Now, this is pretty. I don't want you to go to a calculator for multiplying these fractions. Remember, when we multiply fractions, you can um, cross-simplify, So, or as long as you have a numerator and denominator. So 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 4 once, and I end up with negative 3 plus b equals 2. Solve for b. So b is 5. What's step 3? Right. So now we got to write the equation. Now this time, what are we filling in? It's like filling in B. What else? And the slope. So the slope comes from step one. The B comes from step two. So we have Y equals negative three fourths X plus five. So that's how you do a parallel one. Okay. Now, we didn't have to work too terribly hard for our slope. We could just look at it and find it. The next one we're going to do is a perpendicular, and we're going to work a little harder for that, and then you have one of these spots. So I think we're going to go to the bottom of page 2, the number 3. Let's do that one. So, yeah. Yeah. Let, let me uh, er, leave a little space, and then you can get it to finishing up, too. Um, and then, I, since I've got the video rolling, I want to go ahead and do this one, and then uh, I'll get to that. So we want it to be perpendicular to x plus 3y equals 6. So um, what's your step one? Step one is always what? Slope. So step one, slope, this is number three at the bottom of page two. Uh, so our slope, what are we going to use to find our slope? Right, we need to use the equation and we need to solve to find y so we can get our slope. So to solve for y, we're going to get, we're going to subtract 1x from both sides. And we get 3y equals negative 1x plus 6. Divide by 3, and I get y equals negative 1 third x plus 2. So what is the slope of this line? Negative 1 third. So the perpendicular slope would be what? 3. Positive, switch the sign, flip it, 3 over 1. So really what we are doing here is we have some equation... Uh, y intercepts 2, we go down 1, we go right 1, 2, 3, or up 1 and over 3. So your original line looks something like this, x plus 3y equals 6. We want to find a line that it goes through negative 1, 0, and when it does that, it forms a perpendicular, it is perpendicular to the original. So that's what you're after. You want this equation. We know the slope. What's step two? B. So y equals mx plus b. We're subbing in m, x, and y. So what is your x? Negative one. And what is your y? Zero. So we have zero equals what's m? Three. We've got to use that one. So we have 3 times, what's x? Negative 1 plus b. So 0 is negative 3 plus b. Add 3. So b is 3. Step 3. Write your equation. So in this case, 
to be replaced. M was step one, and B was step two. So Y equals M three X plus three, which makes sense. We think that it's going to cross up here somewhere, and it's going to be fine. And you could actually count it out and make sure that it would be one that, that would look like that. Um, but that would be how you do parallel and perpendicular lines. And you got fourth of your test is on this, so we got to get good at this.